This morning I'm working on our electric tug. We had some issues. The track was like rising up. So we took a look underneath the belt and we found a screw in there, which was causing all of our problems. But since we've got it apart, we're gonna clean it up, get it back together, nice and clean. All right, so this bad boy is not starting. First thing we're gonna check is see if we're getting a spark. Plug looks good. That one looks even better. Yeah, even what? I've already got some of the leads unhooked. So, you just take this off. I'm gonna put the spring around this end. The other end goes to ground, and then if you're sparking, you should see it in that gap right there. One more time. This thing's fresh out of annual. We just cleaned the plugs, so we know the plugs are good, and now we know the mags are giving it a good spark. So we're gonna drain some gas out of the carb and just see what comes out, see if it's got trash in it. The fuel filter's got good gas coming out of it. There's no water, so we'll see what happens. Got the fuel filter out, a little bit of trash. Turn the fuel back on and let it pump some trash that's out the bottom of there. Just for a brief moment. Uh, a little bit of trash in there. It doesn't seem like much, but it's definitely enough to mess with the nozzle. All right, we got the trash out. We know we're getting a spark. We know the plugs are clean. We know we're getting fuel to the engine. So, here we go. Well, the tuck still works. So we've got the carb removed from the 195. And we're just gonna take a look at it, see if we can clean some stuff out. It does look a little bit dirty. There's some venturi holes up in there where you can't really see, but it's all kind of caked in fuel around here. So we'll see what's going on. With that. All right, starting the disassembly of the carb, I don't wanna to touch any of the settings. These were all set. It's probably something mechanically gone wrong inside of the carburetor. So. The first thing I did was reach down and check the jet and that can be moved. That is safetyed into place. So I don't know if that was safety loose and then maybe slipped over time. The other thing we'll check is we'll fill this up with gas to see if this actually comes up because if this is not coming up then the needle valve is not shutting. That the needle valve does not shut, then gas will continue to pour and dump in the carb. So it'll run like it's rich, which means it's gonna be really hard to start just like we're getting. Uh, also, we'll hold the needle valve close with it full and see if we get any gas seepage going into there. If you look right there, you can see where it did not make a seal and it was probably pulling out fuel when you're starting and then when it was running, it was probably sucking in some air to throw off the mixture settings Probably not enough to mess with it, but now that it's leaking so bad, it's an issue. I'm pretty confident the needle valve is leaking. What about you, Mike? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would do it. It's filling up like instantly. Yeah, it's just hard to see. All right, we've been polishing the needle valve best we can, and we just did a test to see if it's gonna leak and it's not. So we're gonna replace some seals, some gaskets and get this thing put back together. All right, she has been rebuilt. Just finished doing all the safeties and running out of daylight. So we're gonna come back and hit it. Just finished getting the car back in. Now we're gonna start this thing and see if it runs. All right, clear prop.
Both mags. Yeah! All the old those cylinders are ready to get out. Heck yeah! Well, it works, so that's good. Now I got a safety, a couple of these bolts down here, which is a pain. I'm just gonna use safety cable. Um, but that's now, some of you may have heard me in the video and may ask why I was yelling both when the engine was starting. On this particular Magneto setup, you have it where you put it on start when you're starting the engine because one of the mags has a retard in the timing. And then after it gets popping and going, you want to turn it to both because that actually changes the timing. So it hits before top dead center and not at top dead center. If you try to start it on both, it'll just go the wrong way because um, it's kind of firing too early. So most newer planes don't have that, but this one does. So that's why I was yelling both. That's it for the day. I'm going home. Please subscribe to see more videos like this in the future.